everyone, the fans in attendance, the media, and of course these uh, players for devoting their time to such a noble cause. Um, and I'm sure they're uh, really anxious to get out there and start skating as well. Um, this all happened because of Caesar's senior leadership and the community really getting together behind us. And of course, with these players, you know, one phone call led to another. So to start this off, I'd like to introduce Caesars Entertainment Eastern Division President Don Marandini. It's like Jerry said, this this was kind of put together hastily, and these guys to show up like this brings a lot of warmth to, uh, especially our employees and people that were affected by this crazy storm in New Jersey and, and, and New York. So we have uh, done a lot of things for our employees in the city, and this is a great opportunity for us to uh, raise a significant amount of money through the generosity of, of, of a lot of people and, and show the rest of the world that Atlantic City didn't get blown up like it was reported on the Weather Channel and all the other nice national news uh, media. But this is a great way to, to showcase uh, Boardwalk Hall, to actually have hockey here in, in, in a great place, and three great charities, the, the, the Red Cross, the Empire Relief Fund, and Governor Christie's uh, Relief Fund, too. 100% of the money is going to go to those organizations, and there's a lot of people hurting in, in New Jersey and New York, and I can promise you it's going to be used uh, to, the, to the best way possible. And thank you to the guys for for showing up and the ones that are going to be here tomorrow night. Um, Joe Watson that works here um, is, is the guy with Rick Dockett that reached out to these guys and, and, and really put it together. So I really want to thank them and we look forward to a great couple days. So thank you. All right. So now it's uh, my pleasure really to introduce um, a guy who's incredibly responsible for this international all-star roster that we have uh, here. It's a man who's played not only in 545 NHL games, but he's probably fought in all of them. This is Todd Fedora. Thanks for that lovely introduction. <laughs> and it basically, it was something that uh, the whole event took place uh, a couple weeks before uh, it didn't start out as a, as, a, as a charity game, it was just something to get the pockets of guys that were skating in the area together to do some competitive training because uh, with, with the, the recent lockout and things like that, you, these guys kind of get monotonous in their training and it was something that started from that, but uh, obviously the storm hit and there was devastation obviously to the New Jersey shoreline and, and uh, especially up in New York at some of those points, the Rockaway Point was hit a little bad. And, you know, a lot of people were affected by uh, by that storm that came through here. And, um, the, the wheels were already rolling with, uh, you know, reaching out to players and, and uh, um, trying to get something going to, to bring guys into Atlantic City. And, uh, you know, with, with uh, the help of Joe Watson and Caesars and, and basically the boys, you know, uh, it kind of grew into what it was. I think when any time that there's, uh, you know, something as devastating that what happened on, on the East Coast and in certain areas, uh, things like this kind of take a life of their own, and uh, that's basically what happened with this. It, 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 it grew and grew and grew, and uh, you know, more guys, you know, jumped the board, and, and really, you know, I think that's a test to what the type of athlete that the hockey players are. Um, without any ado, I was given the um, Lineups and, and the line combinations by the two captains of this team. The teams, um, Brad Richards and uh, Scott Hartnell. And I'm going to start with the uh, New York based team, Brad Richards and friends. Uh, the uh, lineup will be James Neal, Brad Richards, Daniel Alfredson, Bobby Ryan, Billy Lano, Corey Perry, Taylor Pyatt, Matt Martin, Jeff Halpern, and Aaron Asham. Uh, the D-men for that team will be Mark Stahl, Dan Girardi, Brian Boyle, Steve Eminger, and Mike Thomas Eric. And uh, goal will be some guy named Henrik Lundqvist. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad goalie. Uh, for the New Jersey-based team, we have 
Team uh, Hartnell and Friends. It's uh, Scott Hartnell, Stephen Stamkos, James Van Riefdijk, Steve Downey, David Clarkson, Danny Carcillo, one of my favorite lines in the uh, game going into tomorrow. Simone Gagne, Justin Williams, Wayne Simmons, and Jody Shelley. On D for that group, it'll be Kimo Timonen, John Carlson, Braden Coburn, P.K. Subban, the flamboyant P.K. Subban, <laughs> Andy Green, and uh, another small name, Martin Broder. It's going to be a, a great game, and, and the fans are definitely going to be entertained. And it's, it's going to raise a lot of money at a time that's, you know, it's supposed to be one of the best times of the year. It's the kickoff of the holiday season, and I think that... Uh, you know, the outpouring of support that we've had it is just going to go to benefit the families and the people displaced by that storm. Um, with that, we're also going to unveil the jerseys for uh, the game tomorrow. Boys, if you guys want to stand up and just throw those jerseys on. Obviously, Caesars is going to be some of the sponsorship teams. You don't have to throw them on, just hold them up. Or mess up your pretty hair. Um, sponsorship throw on there, and then obviously the fun with the three funds, the operation after. Together. You got to remember this is done in a, in a, in a week's time, so it's, a, it's special to throw something of this magnitude together in that, uh, in that short of time. Yeah, turn them around to the backs of the boys. That's about it. Take a picture.